Hey y'all, it's Religion Wink TV and my spiritual ears stay. Shalom, what's going on everybody? Hey, I'm just coming before y'all guys to keep it real, alright? I'm going to come on live within the next hour or so and just talk about the wickedness of YouTube. Um, I already started with my heart, so it's not like I'm coming before the masses and trying to help somebody out of their dilemma when I'm so full of it myself. Miss me with the bullshit, okay guys? Listen to me. I've seen the rise and fall of Mona Simone and I would like to address that. I'm gonna have a call in, Mona Simone call in. And I hope Mona call in because we can all kind of give her some advice on how to overcome what she's going through. You know guys, let me just tell you, there's some things that God hates. According to Proverbs, um, 30, uh, excuse me, according to Proverbs 6 and 16 through 19, he hates a proud look, a lying tongue. He hates feet that's quick to mischief, run to mischief. He hates hands that's quick to shed innocent blood. He hates hearts that imagine wicked uh, imaginations, continually evil imaginations. He hates um, people who bear false witness. And he also hates uh, the brethren who sow discord amongst God's people. So you talk about it because we see it all people. Don't sit here and act like I'm the only one that see it, okay? Um I do believe I'm gonna have a call in number. I'll I'll post that when I go live. I'm not gonna bother putting it here, but let's talk about some of the wickedness. What is spiritual wickedness in high places? Remember we wrestle not against flesh and blood. I always say people that's evil that have high ranking seats in this world is spiritual wickedness in high places. Some people allow power, control, the seat that they hold in this world. They allow that to go to their heads. They become real demonic, real evil, real narcissistic, real sociopathic, real diabolical. To the point like Mona Simone where you can even freaking, you know, allude to the fact that you committed suicide on April Fool's Day. I mean, let's not let Tracy off the hook here because the day before Tracy was loving on her, had her and Fabe called in trying to, you know, um, pretty much like Saul and David bring the kings together, treat them real good, and be setting people up on the side just to see you demise. Because it's real funny to me how the day before Mona come out with her whole scam, Tracy is loving on her. They have this conversation. Now all of a sudden she don't know Mona. Mona ain't shit. Mona lies. She's out in Mona. I mean, come on, y'all. Y'all too easily uh, defined by this wickedness in the world. Which wickedness stems from people who don't want to be righteous. Let's keep it real. This isn't something you have to go look in in Roman Greek mythology. Looking for, you know, a devil with uh, red horns and a pitchfork. No, look at your neighbor. That's why the Bible says love thy neighbor as you love yourself. Your neighbor could be wicked. And so can't you. But if you love your wicked self... You'll be able to look at your neighbor and possibly love a little bit of something about them. Keep it real, man. That's why, you know, I chill. I stay to myself. I stay in my own lane. Explaining wickedness. How can I do that to you people? Pedophilia. Tracy told somebody, to, Nicole Tyler, to go molest somebody's child. We hear, you know, acts been told against people's children to do X, Y, Z sexually to that child, to um, other people's children. I'm not calling no content creator name. Hell, they don't call my freaking name. Just like they got where they are on their own, I'll get to where I need to be by the grace of God. 
and it will last. It will be full of integrity. It wouldn't be something born of wickedness or it wouldn't be some wickedness uh, thrust upon this channel for me to succeed. Meaning like I won't have to go out and hate this content creator just to get a shout out from this content creator. I won't have to betray this content creator just to get this content creator to like me. Kind of like what Tracy's doing with Mona. Let's name, let God name the wickedness. And some of the wickedness is, guys, uh, people betraying one another, backstabbing, um, killing, stealing, and destroying, uh, watching other people's money. As if the Bible does not say, thou shalt not convey There's na the neighbor's husband, wife, money, car, clothes. I mean, look, it's like a living despair, people. I don't know. It's so much wickedness on these YouTube streets. But the, the biggest to me is Mona Simone faking her alleged suicidal attempt and death. And people going along with it. Whether it was a minute or whether it was 24 hours or whether like her uh, uh, wife, alleged wife, Michelle Goins, in it for the long haul because of the wickedness that Mona has thrust upon her and the whole entire brain nation. Um, I'm just going to keep it real, guys. I, I'm not going to bite my tongue when we come live, you know. It may even be a midnight live. Somewhere before 12 a.m. Uh, East Coast time. It will be 4-8-2019 if I go to 12 a.m. Uh, if I go around, you know, before 12 a.m., it'll still be 4-7-2019. But look out for this live, guys. It's a Mona Simone calling. Hopefully, Mona will call in. Talk about some of the wickedness. Why she feels like she's on top of the world. When Satan indeed is just pulling her further and further into the snares of the Jezebel spirit. Not Jezebabe. That belongs to Fibabe. Jezebel. There's two Jezebels named in the Bible. Unfortunately, Mona, one of them got killed by stray dogs because she tried to kill the prophets of God. 450 of them to be exact. Kind of like you, Mona. You have killed a lot of God's people. They may not know that they were the anointed of God. But I'm here to tell you, touch not his anointed and do his prophet no harm. Once these people figure out who they are, Mona, you will be standing alone with your wife, Michelle, looking kind of crazy. It is what it is, Miss Lady. I am going to come back. I've seen so much wickedness and evil on these YouTube streets. I almost marvel at it, people. I, I I sincerely sit here and I say, Dear Lord, do these people not know what the works of the flesh is? The fornication, the adultery, the envy, the the rivalry, the witchcraft, the, the hearsays, the seditions, the the uh, drunkenness, the um the, the, the hate, the wrath, the strife. God, if I'm leaving anything else, the revelries, I said envies, right? Let me just go here real quick to the book of Galatians, because this is the works of the flesh. This is what God wants to nail to the cross, and he wants you to do it. We all have a cross to bear. But what's nailed to your cross? Let me go ahead and get to this page real quick. So we got Galatians 5 and 19. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, robberies, and such like of the of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven. 
But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperament, temperance. Against such these there is no law. You can find that in Galatians 5 19 through 23. Alright. The bread of wickedness <laughs> shall not see the kingdom of heaven. You know, guys, I'm just going to go ahead, like I said, understand that there's a lot of wickedness going on in this world. And just like any other sickness, any other disease, you have to assume responsibility for it being upon you. And you also have to be responsible for your own recovery. Now, there's a lot of people who has recovered from being wicked, from walking in wicked ways, from, uh, you know, pursuing after wickedness. Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just for the righteous. God tried the hearts and the reins, Psalms 7 and 9. I like to say God tried the heart of man and he tries the reign of man. Like he tries your heart to see how much you can reign in this world. Because too much is given, much is required. But in the hands of a wicked person, there can be a lot of damage done. They do a lot to get a lot. And there's no rest for the wicked, y'all. These people are out here basically selling their souls, pretending to have freaking illnesses to get money get sympathy get payola get support get um you know people to like them they're using their disabled kids allegedly they're using you know um all things that truly start from innocence to appear to be wicked i had to put this quote in here guys because i did not kind of agree with it all things truly wicked start from innocence no, evil is the origin of all evil. According to Genesis 6 and 5, the heart of man is continually evil, people. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, so what else? This is Religion Wing TV and my spiritual ears stay. It stay ringing because wickedness is a myth they're trying to say. Invented by good people to account for the curious curious attractiveness of others i mean like-minded people think alike yes birds of a flat feather flock together and lost souls stray the same way <coughs> to see and listen to the wicked is already the beginning of wickedness and these are the way the people go this is of confusion but i want to tell you god says the beginning of fear is to know god the beginning of fear is knowledge the beginning of knowledge is wisdom. You understand what I'm saying? The beginning of wickedness indeed is wickedness because the root of wickedness is wicked people who make a choice. And now our Savior, the Lord, God, the Messiah, Christ himself, came to set the captive free, came to speak a word into people to get them to turn from their wicked ways. He said, if my people are called by my name and turn from their wicked ways, I, if they seek me and pray to me, then he says, I will hear from heaven and I will, uh, you know, heal their land. And, and guys, I want to say again, this is Religion Week TV and my spiritual ears stay. And I encourage us all at this moment in time to start praying. To start praying some of this evil into subjection because the Bible says that you can cast down every imagination and highly exalt itself against the word of God. And this evil out here is exalting itself against the word of God. The kingdom of heaven suffer violence and the violence taken by force. And I'm here to encourage the people of God and those that call themselves Christians. It's time that you take the kingdom of heaven back from the hands of the enemy in the form of Christianity in the form of these wicked pagan ways that they have you out here serving and worshiping being led astray from the Most High God 
pray, people. That's all I have to say. Religion Week TV and my spiritual ears stay.